Starting in summer 2023, we begin demolition on the Campus Center building. Currently, it houses programs such as Women's Studies, Anthropology, Archaeology, and the George L. Carter Railroad Museum, among other things. But it served campus in multiple capacities since it was created. In 1951, ETSU President Bergen E. Dossett wrote to Tennessee Governor Gordon Browning asking for his support for a new cafeteria and student union building. In his justification, Dr. Dossett cited a serious space shortage. At the time, we were trying to feed a student body of about 2,000 using a cafeteria designed to serve 500. That, combined with the fact that the existing cafeteria was inside one of the original buildings built on campus in the early 1900s, led Dr. Dossett to request support to replace a facility that was, as he put it, woefully antiquated, obsolete, and inadequate. After receiving the necessary state support and polling the student body concerning what they'd like to have within the new student center, construction was underway by the fall of 1957. When the building opened in spring of 1959, it featured amenities and spaces such as a barbershop, beauty parlor, bowling alley, grill, and grand ballroom. This is where so much of campus life occurred during the 50s and 60s. Well, the years rolled on and the student center catered to students' needs with countless meals, gatherings, celebrations, and study sessions. ETSU kept getting bigger, and by the mid-70s, we had finished construction on a big, brutalist architectural marvel called the DP Culp Center. The Culp allowed us to continue serving the student body that had seen exponential growth. The newly established Quillen College of Medicine found a home in the vacated student center and adapted the ballroom into microbiology labs, the bowling alley into biochemistry labs, and with the old cafeteria's kitchen being a logical venue for the gross anatomy lab, pretty quickly went from preparing meals to dissecting human cadavers in that space. There was even a research facility housed in the building where we studied the effects of nicotine addiction. The test subjects were monkeys, and the monkeys were named after faculty members that most closely mirrored their personalities. And if you don't believe me, this is part of the building that we obviously don't use at the moment. Um, this is where the research took place. And this is a door covered in banana stickers in the shape of a monkey. Let's go. <laughs> With the completion of construction of Stanton Gerber Hall over on the VA campus, the College of Medicine fully relocated across the street in 2002. This structure has a long legacy at ETSU. It presided over some of the most impactful moments in our history. It was the focal point of student life for so many and throughout the years has played a pivotal role for thousands of Buccaneers. Uh, but we're forced to recognize that the changing needs of a campus, learning modalities, systems, accessibility, are beyond our ability to adapt to structure for modern use. In cases like these, it necessitates buildings to be replaced. So it's time to say goodbye to the Campus Center building. We'll certainly miss it, but the future is exciting.